Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a look of how to use driven dimensions in SOLIDWORKS. From the view palette command, we can click and drag the back view of the file. Back, left, top and isometric. Select OK. Adjust the views as you wish. In order to use the driven dimensions in SOLIDWORKS, I can simply select Smart Dimension. These dimensions you can simply insert manually. And as I'm creating these driven dimensions, you can see this manipulator popping up. This is to help me position the dimension nice and organized. If you want to avoid this manipulator, you can move your cursor away and will disappear. So you can put your dimensions manually. On the left hand side, you can change the tolerances or precision. You can also change the way that they appear in parentheses, for example. So now we understand why the dimensions are classified in driven and driving dimensions. The driving dimensions, they drive the model. You can update, you can make changes anytime you want. And the driven dimensions, they are here just for reference. That's it for today, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, next time we're gonna have a look of how to create the BOM building of materials, see you next time.